Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, with Quality Crafts. And today we are doing a five minute card. Now grab just a couple of your scraps and things that you have laying around in your desk from previous projects, and you can join along with me. We're gonna go down to the desk. I will set my timer on my phone for five minutes and we'll craft along. If you wanna learn more and you wanna be more inspired and see projects and things that are going on in the Quality Crafts community, you're gonna to wanna to join me on over here, join me on Twitter, on Instagram, and on our Facebook community group. Let's get started. I'm working with a regular A2 size card base today, four and a quarter by five and a half of white Nina um, 110 pound cardstock. And I've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, and I just, you know, picked scraps from my scrap pile from when I'm creating cards and stuff. And I won't be using all of this, obviously, but I like to give myself a variety. So if you've got everything ready to go, we'll get started. And I know what you guys all know what I'm going to say by now on number 43 is that I like to start with a base. <laughs> I'll leave a comment in the comment section below if you knew that I was going to start out by saying that. She's all about that base, about that base. That background. I know, don't quit your day job, Jen. I'm not much of a singer, that's for sure. A little bit more off of there. There we go. That looks good. And you don't always have to start with a whole full base, but you could start with a two-thirds or a quarter or a right or left side. You know, it really doesn't matter. This actually says today all over it. I don't know why. Today, 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 today. I guess make the most of your today. Right? I'm not really sure what I want to put on here. That's kind of cool. Let me pair that up with a purple. Does red and purple go together even if you're not in the red hat group? I don't even know. I think we can make that work, don't you? I hear the birds in the background. <clears throat> you know what? I don't have enough of this to get on both sides. So I'm just going to use the, the trick of putting things on one side on the edge. I think some of you guys know exactly what I mean. Living on the edge. cut this purple down a little bit too. We don't want quite that much. Otherwise we won't be able to fit our red our red on there. I don't know why I chose to put everything right down the middle today, but why not, right? A lot of times when you're doing these five minute cards, things you know, you just go with whatever comes to your mind. And they may be something that you've done, <clears throat> excuse me, or they may not. That adhesive was just a little bit too wide for this strip. It's kind of a skinny one. So I'm just rubbing it with my finger and then it comes right off. All right. You know, I just had a thought that I should have grabbed one of my punches. 
I think that we could just pull this card together with a couple of punches here. I'm going to go for it. First, I want to try this one. I don't know how this will look. This makes little buttons. made that other button kind of upside down. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Stepping out of my um, comfort zone here with the colors I'm using today. Because I would not normally put these colors together. But that's one of the things you can do when you're doing these five minute cards. Don't worry about you know what what you normally do or that the color scheme's not perfect. Oh, and we're out of time. I do want to do I do want to be a little cheater pants right now and make sure that those are going to stay down. Cuz if I don't give them a little push in the middle, that glue is just going to sit around. I can kind of see that there's um that there's glue on top of that shiny paper, so I'm gonna lift that up and show it to you. Let's get a few things out of the way first. So if you look, you can see there's glue on that. I'm thinking that if I because it's a shinier paper, if I just rub my wet wipe over the top. It'll get rid of that and it worked, totally worked. Okay, so here, if I lift this up again, you can see that the glue is gone and then it's super shiny. What an interesting looking card. I actually, I really think that I like this. This is gonna grow on me. I could use this as a masculine card even with these funky colors that I have here. I hope you guys are still enjoying this. Again, this is number 43. What a fun card. I can't wait to see you guys next video.